Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi. Come and have a look what I've got. So I'm new. Serves one hand finished chicken, smoked bacon and leek pie. It's a specially selected gastro collection. Slow cooked British chicken with smoked bacon in a creamy sauce. And it's got the British flag on there. Look, British chicken and pork. Ooh, so it's one pound and 89 pence. So it's, well, it's one pound and 89 pence. That's what it is. <laughs> so let's have a look at the box. So what information have we got on here? If I do miss any, I'll put it in the link in the description and if, and if I don't, let me know in the comments. So it's got a little traffic light signal there, look. Ooh, look at these reds. I think that's that's bad. Green is good and amber is on the verge. Uh, 751 calories in this pie. Wowzers. 751. Whoa, that just tells me it's going to be tasty. It's got to, hasn't it? So let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at... Oh, look at that. Oh, let, look at that. Let's see if it is like that when we open it up. It's drawing you in. It's very seductive, this box. <laughs> right, so let's, uh, let's, let's read this. Tender, slow-cooked British chicken smoked bacon and leeks in a rich, creamy sauce. Encased in golden all butter pastry there we go there's your calories and the creamy sauce it's hand finished with crunchy poppy seeds and perfectly served with our crisp special special selected chardonnay specially selected chardonnay well i haven't got any of that i'm afraid um, so let's have a look at the nutritional information. There you go. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. And there are all the ingredients there. Look, um, it's got a few allergens in bold. I can see wheat, milk, 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 just about. But there are so many ingredients. And these are the directions for you. So ways to cook. Uh, you can do it from frozen for 40 minutes at 180. Gas for 160. Or you can do it from chilled. Electric 180, 25 minutes, fan 160, 25, gas 4, 24, 25 minutes. So I'm going to do it in the oven actually because I'll tell you why. I did a couple of pies in the air fryer and they were at this kind of range, but they were mash topped and they were dry. They were so dry and no one likes a dry pie. So I'm going to do this in the oven um, because Alan on Instagram, and he's in America, he said um, conventional ovens, obviously the heat swirls all around, don't they? But in the air fryer, it comes down from the top, and I've got a soggy bottom on them pies. So I'm hoping that I'm going to do them in the conventional oven, and I'm hoping that they're going to, that they're going to be, you know, the pastry is going to be not soggy. So the, the proof's in the pudding, isn't it? <laughs> I hope it's not going to be a dry pie. So let's get it up and have a look at it. So I'm going to go live um, Friday night at 8 o'clock if you want to join me. If there's a lot of new, new foodies who have joined the channel, please come and join me at 8 o'clock Friday night. Tune in. Get some beers in and we'll have a bit of a party. I'm going to shave my beard off. So it should go down well. Let me know what sort of beers to get as well. Oh, anyway, there it is. This is that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. There we go. Have a look at that. So there's the poppy seeds on the top look. And it's all butter pastry with creamy filling. Oh, it's got to be good, hasn't it? Surely. Surely. So I've got the oven on preheating. I'm going to get it in there um, and I'll bring you back when it's done. So it's not ready yet, but um, i just like to say, basically, I got a message yesterday, a lovely message, and it was from a gentleman in Dalton, where I live here. And basically, he said, his next door neighbour is in hospital, he's very poorly, and that's Ken. 
And Ken watches the channel all the time and he's even bought an air fryer as well. And his lovely neighbour looks after him, however he's, he's in Furnace General Hospital at the moment and he's poorly, I don't know how poorly he is, but Ken, if, you, if you're watching, mate, please get better. Um, and I know, I know them lovely nurses and doctors will look after you in that hospital, but when you get out, we'll go for a pint, shall we, in your local. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? So Ken, hope you get better, mate, I really do, and thank you for the message. And f lovely, uh, he's his neighbour as well, and he looks after him, and that's lovely, neighbourly loving it, and that's what it's all about. So I don't give shout outs to everyone, but I thought this was very, very poignant, me a very poignant and lovely me message that I got. So all the best, Ken. And when you get out, give us a message and we'll go for a pint. How's that? So I've still got about another 10 minutes to go on this. And then I will bring you back when it's done. So it's done. Smells good as well. So if this is your kind of video, um, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and if you're not subscribed, then maybe consider subscribing. That does help. And leave a comment as well. Let me know if you've had these pies before. I've never had one of these. So I can't wait to get into it. Um, so let's have a look at it. So there we go. Look at that. Nice and crispy top as well. Look. And it did say do the pie. In the, in the foil case, so I has, I've done it as per instruction. 25 minutes. So let's get it open and have a look and see what we really have got. So I'm gonna take out the case. Yeah, so that's, I mean, it's a lot better than it was in the air fryer, I'll be honest. So, let's, let's get this pie open. Four and 20 blackbirds, they began to sing. <laughs> oh, there we are, look. Oh, it smells good. It smells, it's not, hey, it's, I'll be honest, I mean, where's the back? Look. That's the pie, look, I'll show you, let me see if I can get. There, have a look. I'll be honest, it's well filled. That's a good start, isn't it? I was expecting to see a big, big cavity here. But they, they, that's what you've got on the box, look. It's all spewing its guts out, look. <laughs> so let's taste it. So let's have a look at this. Well, that's a bit bigger. Look at that bit of chicken there, look. Not a bad, not, not a bad size, a bit of chicken. I'll get that chicken with that bit of pie as well. This is that. See what it's like. Mm. <laughs> mm. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That is lovely. Oh. I'm going to get some more. Be nice with some sort of sauce over this, I'll be honest. I mean, it is lovely though. I'm getting some healthy vegetables in me as well. Leeks. There's a, so there's always that's always a good sign. And some poppy seeds as well. So more more healthiness. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Have a look at that. Oh, that that, pa that pastry, you can't have to tell it's done in butter. There's the bacon, look. It's a little bit dry, but... Mm. It's tasty. Oh, it is tasty. What it lacks for in the dryness is the taste. Mix up for it with the taste. Let's get this other bit open and have a look. 
I mean, you could. I mean, there it is. There, look. I know I've deconstructed it, but you need to have a look. You need to have a look, see what you're getting for your money, don't you? That's that's what it's all about. End of the day, you'd be paying one pound and eighty nine pence for that. So you need to know what you're getting. You need to see if it's worth it. And you can be the judge of that. It is a little bit dry, but it's not as dry as the ones with the mashed potato on. And it's far tastier as well. Far tastier. It's all you need is a bit of gravy, don't you? A bit of cheese sauce or something like that over the top. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that pastry's claggy. It's tasty, mine, but it is a bit claggy. This at the bottom. Hmm. Hmm. I like it. I do. A bit of pepper will go go okay on there now. To be fair. Not too bad. Would I buy it again? Um, yeah, that pastry sticks to your inside of your mouth. Tasty, mind like eating butter. <laughs> I would buy it again. Probably. Um, I know this sits. You know, it's quite a big pie, isn't it? You can half that and share it. <laughs> I know what I just said then. You can half it and share it. It is quite a big pie for one person. It just says it serves one. Well, fair, fair play, like, you know. It'd be nice with some boiled potatoes, some carrots and peas, some cauliflower cheese, and the cheese sauce drizzled over the top of that, wouldn't it? Be lovely. Go down well, that like. Um, and marks out of 10, it's a good, um, good 8.5 out of 10. So thanks for watching, I'll see you on Friday night, 8 o'clock, going live. Take care, all the best, I'll catch you on the next one.